Paul, tell them a little bit about hold yourself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Here we go, brownies. Here we go. Ooh, ooh. Born and raised in the land, but I live in Atlanta now. You can follow me on Instagram, at Paul Jameson, and I have the Green Industry Podcast on iTunes. Go check them out, guys. Baker Mayfield. Let's go, baby. Super Bowl <laughs> next year. So I just got back from grabbing coffee with Paul Jameson. Really cool guy. Really nice getting to know other people. Uh, I have met him before. I met him actually out in Chicago at the Echo Means Business get-together that Echo throws for us every year, the people that are in the UAG. Great program. If you're not already part of it, you should go over there and check it out, echomeansbusiness.com. little plug for them. But, uh, yeah, it was great meeting Paul. Super nice guy, picking his brain. He does more of the podcast side of things. You guys keep asking me to do a cold start. I get comments every day. Sean, do a cold start. Sean, do a cold start. Well... I have all of the handheld stuff pretty much done for the winter. Everything's pretty much empty, except for a couple of things like the Pro Paddle, the you know that I was using. But the lawnmower I haven't got around to doing just yet. Now I'm not sure if it's going to start, but we're going to go in here and we're going to give the X Mark Laser Z a good old cold start. I'm not sure if it's going to fire. The battery might be dead. I haven't had the heater on in the garage in the last probably 30 days simply because we've had decent weather. And then we're going to go see what TQ is doing. There's a little rumor in there that she's working out. All right, boys, moment of truth. Let's see if the good old X mark will start up. It has not been started. I'm not kidding you. In two and a half months, probably. Let's check it out. Didn't keep it choked long enough. Okay, so I only had that thing fired up for like 10 seconds maybe, and whoo, got the fumes all in the garage, so I had to go ahead and throw the door open real quick, let it clear out so it don't go into the house. But that was freaking awesome. You know, for the mower not being started up for a couple months, I think, almost, since we did our last cleanup, which was, actually, I think they were right after the beginning of the year, like January, before we really started getting the snow, right at the beginning of January, uh, we did the historical home, and then we had, I believe, one more after that. And that was the end of our season. So almost two months not being started up. Couple cranks fired right up. What's up, TQ? Where's my Starbucks at? Starbucks, what, what are you talking about, Starbucks? <laughs> we ain't getting no Starbucks. What's up, guys? Sean and TQ here with Spencer's Lawn Care. What's up, everyone? How's everybody doing on this beautiful home day? Home day. How you doing today, TQ? I'm doing great. You doing great? What'd you yeah. do this morning? I woke up at like 5 o'clock this morning. Well, we all woke up. No, I woke up at like 5 o'clock this morning. Usually it's 6, but I got my workout in this morning. Was it a good workout? It was a fantastic workout. Did my arms I must have missed chest. you. I must have missed you during that workout because that workout did not involve me. Sorry, guys. I had to silence this audio. This conversation just got too hot and heavy for YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are currently... Currently, what are we doing, TQ? We are on our way to look at... Trailers. Trailers. We do not know yet, guys, what we want to do with our next trailer purchase. That will be our main purchase of this year for lawn care. But we do not know what we want to purchase. Do we want to get an open trailer? Do we want to get an enclosed trailer? What do we want to get, TQ? I don't know. Bigger one for sure. For sure. And we don't know if we want to go with a 7x14. I know I want 7 wide. I don't know if I want a 14, 16, or 18. Mainly, guys, we're hoping to get a zero turn on there and possibly a standard or another zero turn, depending on what we end up purchasing. But we definitely have to get a better trailer. Our current 7x12 is just not big enough. It's too small. All right, guys, first stop here. We're going to check out some tandem axle. We got some square tube, round tube. We got some angle iron. We're going to check them all out. Thing. 16 feet, 14, 18, 
here we have a 7x16, a 6x16, a 7x14, and a 6x14. Show them inside there, TQ. That's pretty nice. Lights inside, drop gate in the back. Yeah. The only thing I don't see is ventilation. There's one right there. Oh, it's got side ventilation on the walls. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right, guys. So all of these, you're looking for the smaller one, about 2,500 to 3,500. And then they only have one enclosed here that would be in the size that I want. They do have another small one over here. But that bigger one is a 7x14. I, I believe it was $49.99. Uh, but it was also, I believe, a year old. So it hasn't been manufactured just recently. It's been sitting here a little while. All right, guys, we drove out here. And this guy has only got one that I would even be interested in, which is this tandem axle here. The rest are just too small. But there's no price on it. So driving all the way out here to this trailer shop was a complete bust. So we were in the area of tractor supply and we figured we'd stop by and check out the trailers. Well, long story short, the trailers aren't put together yet. Look how gorgeous that farm is. So we're heading to this trailer shop, guys, and it is out in the middle of nowhere. I love the Amish country, though. These people are so good. If you've never had the opportunity to meet the Amish, amazing people, amazing work ethic. I mean, just hard workers. That's, that's how they're raised. All right, guys, we just got out here to... He sells them here. This one kind of has like a dovetail on the backside goes down big nice thick gate though too no prices so we're gonna have to go in here but definitely has a lot more trailers enclosed trailers so we're gonna go check all these out i want to actually look at one of those dump trailers too i'm looking for a lawn care landscaping trailer all right single axle or tandem axle definitely tandem, tandem. probably 16 right there's one right here uh, uh, open or enclosed open open yeah yeah this, I have the quality trailers here. This uh -huh. one I have. That's about $3,000. Okay. And then I also sell um, Corn Pro, which would be a lot higher end. About, they run about $3,750. What's the, what's the biggest difference with those two? Um, painted okay. portion axles versus spring axles. Paint is the biggest cost. It's these uh, a lot, uh, Some of these are powder coated, so it's three times cheaper. Okay. And, so, and Corn Pro is heavier built. Just all the way around, you pay more for the trailer, but you get a lot better trailer. So about seven hundred dollar difference. Yeah, a split rear gate, a split rear gate, and a tube railing construction. Okay. Tube rail so not angle iron. Not angle iron. Yeah. This is a general duty, so it's got the bigger angle iron. Uh -huh. They got the Econo version, which is thinner. Okay. And then they also make the tube on the quality trailer. But I'll bring those in because you end up paying just a little bit more. You get a Corn Pro because Corn Pro you get the torsion axle versus the spring axle. Okay. Awesome. Big difference. All right. Do you uh do you normally have to order stuff in, or do you just get most, stuff? Yeah, we sell three hundred trailers a year out of here. Okay. And most of it's ordered because I don't have a, a big lot. Yeah, and understandable. We've been here for thirty years. Cool. And so we're knowing to sell a good product. All right, bud. I appreciate your All info. Right. Thanks for Take care. In. Have a good day. You too. All right, guys. So I got all the information I need. Uh, he doesn't have anything in stock right now other than that dovetail one over there, which uh, I don't think I really want it to haul lawn care and landscaping equipment on. I think it would be great for like a bobcat, something really heavy that you need, you know, to get up on that little, I guess, ramp, I guess you could say it's built on the back of that trailer. I do like the heavy duty gate, which he said he could get that in many, uh, different styles all right guys so me and tq just got done finishing up our road trip for the day it is currently going on 2 30 i have a softball board meeting tonight for signups i have work tq's got work sean boy has practice yeah we have a super busy night guys
but I want to get home and at least start the editing process of this video. We learned a lot today about trailers. Sure did. A lot we didn't know about trailers. Sure did. And learned that we still don't know what we want to get. <laughs> Come on, TQ. You're supposed to say sure did. Sure did. <laughs> But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. I'll talk to you later. Take you out. Peace.